Hi, I'm David. I'm Stacey. And we're from Leeds, England, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. You got the last piece of banana. Who likes bananas? Who's your big golden monkey? What? The other boys missed out. They didn't even hear me peel the banana back. That's a first. They must be tired. So I'm the handsomest monkey. I'm a big, handsome, fluffy, good boy. Are you? Yes, you are. Look at me. I got a new outfit. You want, you want to show them? Mm -hmm. I do want to show them. What do you think, Diesel? I thought we told you to stay in your house. I am so sorry. Oh. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> he probably wants to go in there anyways. I put a cushy blanket in there. Oh, you were just wondering. You were wondering what was going on. You heard someone say something about bananas and monkeys. I'm a monkey too. <laughs> I'll have another one later and I'll give it to you. All right, so we're going into town. Got to run some errands today. Figured we may as well look good while we do it. Oh, that butt. I'm allowed to say that because I'm married to you. Yeah? They can't even judge me. Well, most of my audience is men, so. <laughs> You're welcome. Make them all uncomfortable right now. Twerk, babe. Tw no, that's too far. That's too far. Taking it too I far. Wanna, I want them to keep watching. <laughs> so I'm just running around town. This is our curling club in town here. I've never actually been. Oh, have I been inside? I might have. I have a feeling that my sister's wedding reception was in there. You have a feeling, or it was? I don't know. I have a feeling I've been in there for something That was before. like 17 years ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense why you might not remember. 17, 18 years? You know, I'm not a Ford fan, but that Mustang Cobra, it actually looks like a snake. It looks like a Cobra. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it yeah. looks nice. It doesn't have any Ford logos on it, so that's, that's, that's a Ford I'd buy. <laughs> <laughs> if I was into muscle cars and stuff. It is really nice. I like that new design. So this is the Centennial Arena. This is where Steinbeck wants to build a new 2,500 seat arena, 3,200 seat max uh, event center. But no parking lot. With 600 parking spots. <laughs> 3,200 people are gonna be in there. Right 600 in the middle of town. Spots. They're just they, as smart as Winnipeg, building things right in the middle of town where there's no parking. Yep. So I, I was actually interviewed by our local news station. I'm gonna turn in here interviewed by our local news station about this and my biggest criticism was that this is a terrible location because this outdoor rink they'll still have an outdoor rink it'll be in the back that was some people's concern and this arena is old but it's still functional and i think the more arenas the better we have two indoor arenas and at least one outdoor but they want to tear this older one down leave that one and then build a 2500 seat arena right here and we have so much space in steinbach like highway 52 we have all kinds of vacant land. They they could build anything down there. We have an abandoned Safeway building, a big grocery store yes. that's just abandoned. Huge parking lot. Knock that down. You know, I've got people yeah. coming around me. I'm parked in the middle of the lot here. He's wearing those white shades that you like so much. And he's got a fart can on the back of his car. Hey, that's cool. I was a cool dude when I had my fart can on my Cavalier. You know, and another thing, the the theater's here on the other end of the arena. And for some reason, they decided to build a one, one room theater. Yeah. One cinema. You can only see one movie at a time. It's never open. It, it's so silly and the seating yeah. is terrible. Yeah, we, we don't want to sound like we're being all super negative. Like, these are great things. I'm really glad we got a nice cinema in town. That's better than we got nothing. a nice arena. This new facility, I'm actually in favor of it. I'm really glad that they're going to build this new arena. We need that in the southeast of Manitoba. It's just... I just think like they, when they're making... Shame. Yeah, when they're making these decisions, they're not uh, asking enough people maybe, or they're maybe not getting enough opinions. They're, yeah. they're doing the same mistake that Winnipeg did with their event centers. They built their arena, their hockey arena downtown 
no parking. Like we've got to use all these different uh, parkades. parkades, and we had to walk eight blocks to the Def Leppard concert. And you know, what if we were? What if it was raining? I could bring an umbrella. Okay. What if it was minus thirty? What if you have a child and it's minus thirty, and you're going to like Disney on Ice or something? I'd walk eight blocks with a with a child in minus thirty, minus forty. It, it, they didn't really think that out. I, I understand they want to revive downtown. The Bombers Stadium, the new one. Yeah. The football stadium. 50,000 seats, 4,000 parking spots. The one and only time really? I had to, the only one and only time I ever went to a bomber game, we had to walk like two miles to get yeah. to the stadium. It was really It's cold up here. And these event centers are necessary. They're great. They're awesome. But they don't think about the parking. We're, we're a very Location. rural community here. So we don't have any public transit in Steinbach. We don't have any buses. Taxis are pretty expensive for the average person to take all the time. And people are coming in, yeah. Trucks. Yeah, everyone drives big pickup trucks. A lot of farmers coming in. A lot, like I said, rural communities. Everybody's gonna be driving. Now we got 3,200 people coming to an event center here in the, and, and only 600 parking spots. So maybe I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Like it's a, it's a great idea. But what but. about this? What about this? Did you think about this? What if we did it over there? All of these problems would be fixed. But nobody asks me. Nobody asks me. Yeah. Actually, they did. They I did. Got, I got contacted by Stimac Online for an interview, and they, they included my opinions. But it's not like it's going to change anything. They've already... I'm sure they've already got the permits and the contracts to knock this down and build their event center here. Everything's set in stone already. So now they announced it to everybody, and now everybody's like, wait, 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 wait. What? How come nobody asked us? If you would have asked us first, we would have told you... This, not a good spot at all but and all of these residential streets around here are all going to be plugged with people yes yeah, sir for the people that live nearby but again i don't want to sound like i'm being all negative because it, it's a really great thing it's just uh well it's awesome that our city or the, it's not technically our city we don't live right in town but you know it, it's nice that the city wants things for people to do and, and you know it's a good sense of community but you know they need to think about location and yeah. Convenience. But other people think differently than us too. I mean, 600 parking spots. There's another 600 across the street there at our credit union that you can use in non-business hours. That's only if SCU doesn't one day decide, like, okay, we, we want our parking lot back or we're going to charge you to park. Yeah. But, but that's anyways, that's, we're just talking about this because we're right in the area and this is sort of like the big news of the town right now. If you're okay. from Southeast Manitoba, you've heard of this new event center. Everyone's really excited about it and everyone's sort of over bypassing the fact that, you know, when there's a nice concert in town, where are you gonna park? Yeah. It's minus 40 outside in February and you wanna go to a concert with your kids. I'm and you gotta park. My tickets. <laughs> you gotta park across town. But yeah, anyways, that's figured I'd just mention that. I, I am excited for the event center to come up. It's something new in town, it's gonna be big. There's gonna be a five hundred seat banquet center in there. This old thing. It doesn't even look that old. They've taken good care of it. Yeah, it's in decent shape. This is the arena. I played hockey games in this arena when I was a kid. A lot of memories. And then they built this new one Back over here. Back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yep. So it's exciting. And figured I'd just mention. I don't know, what, what would you guys think? You think it's better to build downtown with little parking and people can sort of just figure it out? Or what would you say? What's your opinion? Anyways. That's the talk of the town. Now you know what's going on in Steinbach. We're going to Mr. Q restaurant. We're meeting my mom here for lunch, actually. This is a, a newer Chinese restaurant in town. All day buffet. It rhymes. It rhymes, yeah, so we're gonna go give them our money. Just because it rhymes. Oh, it's closed. It said all day buffet. Well, that's lies. Monday closed. All day except Monday. They could have put that in the rhyme. It, that would have been great. It would have flowed. All day except Monday. Okay. Okay. Well, well no all day. Oh, no, no money for them today. I guess we could go to Lee's. Lee's. Well, let's get a hold of Mom. See where she wants to go. Mom had requested this place, so he did. we're taking her out for lunch. Well, it's Chinese. I figured. Hey, anyone gonna come say hi to me? Hey. Hey, DJ. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Chevy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Whoa. Hey, Big Frank. How you doing, buddy? And Wiener's back there somewhere, but. 
think he went into the bathroom with breath. I'm going for a walk. Well, let's see what the creek's up to. Had a little bit more rain again, so I guess we'll see what uh, Mother Nature's up to out here, what the beavers are up to. All these trees losing their leaves. Man, it's thinning out quick. Gotta mow this lawn one more time this season yet, sometime this week. Well, it's still pretty high. I'd love to go swimming in that pond already. I could just jump in, I guess. Not now. Wear my new pants. Look at this, eh? So much water. <laughs> oh, and this fell through even more. Even more of this is falling down now. Careful, Chevy. This fell down. It was just that little section there before. This fell in, and look at that. This is falling in here, too. Yeah, it's eating away. Eating away at it. All the way out to where? All the way out to at least here. Oh, yeah, that's soft. That's really soft. That's gonna fall in. This whole section here. Yikes. Crazy. Yeah, and right where that rapid is there. Most of you have seen this already. Yeah, that beaver dam is completely demolished. This little dam here is washed away. So I guess the beavers have sort of uh, given up. Good. Victory. We'll build your dam elsewhere. Far, far from here. Somewhere. Maybe on like crown land where no one's gonna care? How about that? Huh? Well, there's our creek. Some of you have asked if this uh, land there is all ours too. Yes, it is. All of this and a ways behind there. There's a big, uh, big open grassy area behind these trees yet. And uh, over there is mostly all forested. Yeah, we, uh, we got a big chunk here. And uh, that side is actually a lot bigger than this side that we have. We own more property on that side. We just got to build a bridge to be able to get across to it because right now there's no way of accessing it. But in the next couple of years, we're going to build a bridge down over here. Big enough for the pickup truck to drive over it with a load of wood. Because we want to go and cut down these dead trees on this side and uh, cut them up for firewood and bring them back over the bridge. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hey? Hey, what do you think? Diesel, what'd you see? What'd you see down there? Can't there's been a beaver here, man. It smells very beavery. There's been beaver somewhere. You're hiding. What's a beaver? Chevy. Beaver is like a very large rodent. It's a pest. It's like a big rat with a big flat tail. Very smart. They're very smart, but they're very, uh, uh, damaging to property very damaging because they won't take your dead trees they'll take your best live trees because those are the best trees for their dams well we ventured further down the creek to a place where I haven't really been to yet sort of trekking through the long grass and I found where those logs ended up so I came down from over there ended up over here right in my shadow So I don't know if the beaver put it here or not. It looks like they just sort of collided here and just sort of got stuck here. Yeah. Chevy, don't go in the water. Chevy, don't go in the water, buddy. Mom would be so mad. You get the whole house all wet, man. I'm taking a break right here. Nice sound you, your water. Good idea, Diesel. Good idea. Well, let's keep going. No time for breaks, man. Five second break. Feels good. Gotta be careful. You might get lost out here. <laughs> We're on an outdoorsy trek. Uh, a little bit of a hike going through our bush here. Diesel, don't go in the water. Why do I gotta keep reminding you? I guess you wanna swim, man. 
Don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Well, there's some kind of pathway here. Beavers, I guess. Oh boy. Don't go in the water. All right, Yank. Diesel, back up. Can you go back here? I wanna see. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Found so many little beaver highways in here like this. Where they come out of the ground. Pardon me, where they come out of the water, onto the ground, and up into the bush. We just trucked right through all of this bush. These two little guys are, pardon me, they're big guys. These two guys are troopers. Okay, let's keep going. We can't go here. Chevy, no, you go in the water, mom's gonna be so mad. Be so mad. Come on. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have brought my shades with me. Ouch. Okay. Careful, careful, careful. There you go. And we gotta find a way to get up this hill, buddy. You coming with us, Chevy? Gotta find a way up the hill. Well, that's not fair. You got four wheel drive. Come oh, on, you can do it. You can do it, buddy. I can do it. You can do it. Come on. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. You figured it out. You figured it out. Oh, good boy, Chev. Good boy. Okay, oh, there's a little trail here. Looks like from deer. Oh, I can't get up this hill. Oh, it's, I need four wheel drive. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we made it up the hill. Cool. Never gone that way before. And what do you know? A trail. Hey guys, this place looks familiar, eh? How'd we end up here? Where'd we come from? Okay, so this is the trail here. Gotta remember. I'm gonna widen that. All right, guys, that was fun. That was fun. A little bit of an outdoors trek. Let's go this way now. My two little hikers, come on. Come on, my backwoods country boys. Come on. Let's go. That was actually pretty fun. I love just walking through the bush exploring. Oh, except for this bush, we gotta clean this up. You know, I actually wanna actually go further in there. I gotta be careful, because this is the area where I got that bad poison oak in spring. So, I am wearing long pants, long sleeves, so that should be okay. And once again, I'm just finishing up this vlog, just finished putting it together. It's been beautiful the last couple of days. Today is uh, no exception. Absolutely wonderful outside. It was a nice, nice day to go for a little outdoorsy trek. I might do another one tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog. I'm not too sure because uh, that was only one little part of this side of the creek. I'd like to take you guys to the other side of the creek. It's just I don't have a bridge yet, so. I've got to go all the way a ways around or I got to like wade through the creek. That'd be the fastest way just to like go through it. But the creek is so deep right now, I'd have to swim across it. <laughs> so uh, eventually we'll have a bridge. Hopefully, well, probably not next summer yet. Next summer we have a bunch of other things on the agenda to get done. I'm going to be sanding down this whole deck here and restaining it. Not painting it, I don't know, stain it all the way around. And this deck goes all the way around the side of the house over there, like where we do our barbecue and stuff. And then, like I said uh, in other vlogs, this back door is going to go a sliding door right in here so that we have a back door in the house, right? So, I'm building a big deck back here. All the way where that wall is over there where that G is, deck's going to go out about 12 feet, maybe 16. 12 to 16 feet out, depending on how far out these trees are. I have to measure it. Pretty much right up to those trees, though. And all the way along, all the way to over there, you see our gazebo. It's going to line up with that. And there's our deck over there. It's going to meet up with that. So there's going to be one deck all the way around the house. And there's going to be a big deck here with a nice exit here. That's the big project for next year. Uh, we also have to do our, uh, our garage roof either next summer or the summer after. We're doing it to match the roof of our house. And we got to paint our house or redo the siding. I think we're gonna paint it because it's got good aluminum siding on it. So we could probably just paint it, get away with that, uh, and then you know redo the siding down the road. And then we got to do the the garage to match as well. So I don't like it when they don't match. It's driving me crazy that we got a different roof on our house than we do in our garage already, and different color siding it drives me nuts. 
I guess I got a little bit of OCD. It's all got to match. <laughs> so uh, anyways, thanks for watching today. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Still a lot of home time content coming yet before we get back on the road. But don't worry, I know the comments are coming, so I'll answer them right now. Yes, we are going to get back to trucking. Yes, we will get back in the truck. No, not right now. We're going to be at home for a while. So you get to see what life as a trucker is like when he's not trucking. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm David. I'm Stacey. And we're from Leeds, England. And you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs.